Welcome to TPM Vids Disney Beat, where we talk about all things Disney. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video. You can also find us on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. We all love a good Disney ride, but sometimes the magic is interrupted when the rides malfunction and break down. It's bound to happen from time to time. Through submissions from viewers like you, these never-before-seen breakdowns give some rare perspectives into many of our favorite Disney rides. Please remain seated. If you've caught a fail or malfunction on camera, you can submit it to www.tpmvids.com for a chance to have it featured in a future video. Now be sure to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside as we count down the top 10 Disney ride breakdowns, malfunctions, and in-show exits. Part 9 Number 10 The Seas with Nemo and Friends at Epcot is one ride you don't see break down too often. It has pretty simple sets comprised mostly of screens, but one scene that does use a robotic figure is the anglerfish chase. It's a cool little effect, but in a lights on breakdown submitted by at littlebit.young on TikTok, we get an up close look at the mechanics of the figure. How cool is this? Please remain seated, please remain seated. A cast member will come escort you out. Once again, please remain seated, stay in your shells. A cast member will come let you out and escort you out shortly. Once again, please. Just remain seated. Now with the work lights on, this usually means an in-show exit will take place. An in-show exit is Disney's term for when a ride needs to be evacuated. It sounds a bit more magical. That robotic arm is loud. And notice the safety net placed in front of the scene? I guess that's to protect guests from the robotic arm, just in case. I also love this look at the jellyfish scene. You really get to see all the magic and details that eventually turn into this. Oh, jellyfish! Right! Number 9. Heading over to Disneyland Paris, Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast is home to our next breakdown. A viewer named Mark Stouffer III on YouTube sent in his experience as he came to a stop right in front of Zerg. Ladies and gentlemen, you have to show please due to technical difficulty. We are now going down. Well, we got stopped, but we could keep shooting, and we got stopped, and they shut off our uh, laser blasters, and then they shut off the music. Now, if you ever get stopped in front of Zerg, no matter which park you're at, if you keep aiming for the middle of his chest and hit that target, you get 100,000 points. It's kind of difficult to hit, but it's a good little tip to know. At this point, the laser blasters were already turned off, so Mark was just stuck with the sweet sounds of Zerg squeaks. Off? And then the moment almost every Disney fan has waited for. Well, this is fun. The first attraction I ride in this park. I mean, it's not a bad welcome present to Disneyland Paris. I wish this happened to me when I was there. We regret that our adventure cannot continue at this time. Please follow instructions from our cast members to immediately the attraction. Thank you. Then it was time for the in-show exit. Cast members had guests walk backwards towards the entrance of the ride, where you got a good look at all the scenery and details with the lights on. The entrance is still lit correctly. It's just the ride that isn't. <laughs> Show mode, not show mode. Once they all exited, cast members did give out fast passes for the trouble. Number 8. In this next submission sent in by the Islanders vlog on Instagram, they found themselves on a complete ride through of Journey into Imagination with the work lights on and no ride audio. Without audio, you just hear the gentle buzzing of the ride vehicles down the track. For anyone who finds white noise relaxing, well, you're welcome. I do gotta say though, without show lights, the whole ride is just very anticlimactic. Hey little guy, at least this was when Figment was actually still moving because now he's like that figure in the creation shop, stiff as a board. After they passed Figment's little feet, the coolest part of this lights-on experience was approaching the finale room. 
right here you could see the faux ceiling rig, but the first TV screen was missing, which for the ride in normal show mode would spoil the whole reveal. But as you can plainly see, imagination works the best when it's set free. You said it, Doc! Imagination is a- <laughs> <laughs> It's so cool seeing this play out in real time, isn't it? This is so random. And you know what? The screen retracts a lot slower than what I thought it would have. And of course, they all got a big send-off by the good old Nigel Channing Moon. I mean, this whole lights-on malfunction is just very amusing. Or I guess you could say very a moon sing. Okay, I'm sorry. Number 7 Have you ever wondered what happens when you break down on Grizzly River Run at Disney California Adventure? Now, due to the nature of the ride and that it uses water to move the rafts, there are only a couple spots where you could actually get stuck when it breaks down. One is on the lift hill or in front of the barriers before either drop. Now, in order for cast members to do an in-show exit, they need to first shut off the pumps and drain the water from the entire ride. Like what's happening here in this breakdown submitted by Mari M. Yeah, people want to know how people get rescued. We absolutely do. And here they were stuck just before the second drop. Now, draining the entire ride takes about 20 minutes. And here's something you might not know. The catch basin that stores all the water is actually in Pacific Wharf. So, if you ever see the tide a little higher than normal here, that means Grizzly River Run has been drained. Isn't that such clever design? Now, once it's safe to do so, cast members will grab a ladder, then one by one, each guest is helped out of the raft. You then find yourself standing on a path next to the flume that's usually filled with water. You can see on this rock where the water level normally is, and it appears to be about waist deep. So that's quite a bit of water. Once everyone is out of the raft, from here, guests are taken into a backstage area inside Grizzly Peak, and they're led back to the walking path by the last drop. Number 6 Getting a lights-on look at Tower of Terror at Hollywood Studios is always a welcome occurrence. In a submission from Presley Jade on YouTube, the ride broke down in the hallway scene. You got time, five minutes. Now here you can clearly see the angled piece of glass that's used for the Pepper's Ghost effect of the disappearing hotel guests. It's fascinating how much lighting plays into making this a three-dimensional scene. I mean, it looks much different now. We'll be powering down and powering back up in normal mode using RA. Hotel guests, please remain seated. Well, it sounded like the ride might get going again. And just as everyone was filled with anticipation of what would happen next, Wait. They got a ride down the elevator shaft, but not in the way that would normally happen, and were sent back to the load area. I think it's safe to say those spirits really didn't want any more guests in the hotel that day. Number 5 over at Big Thunder Mountain in Disneyland, it was a typical day on the wildest ride in the wilderness! Everything on the runaway minecar seemed pretty normal in this submission from JJ1212 on Instagram. Well, so they thought. We broke down. Yes, you did. This was just before the last lift hill, and once cast members came to the rescue for the in-show exit, the only way out was up. Getting the chance to walk up the lift hill is something you don't get to do every day. Thanks for sharing your experience. Now, one of the coolest aspects in the design of the ride is that right next to this lift hill is the first lift hill. They're only a few feet away from each other, and when you're on the ride, you would never know. Well, I think you might. We're going to another train. If you look at the stairs, you can see they're made from a perforated metal, which would allow the pour-off of the water feature to fall into the basin below. Now from here, the in-show exit continued back down this lift hill, where you got a great view of the rainbow caverns without the rainbows. And once they got a bit further down, there were some bats on string. Cute. You guys don't recognize this. This is the start of the ride. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
And there are times where we do that, especially when we have to stop the ride ourselves, but this time the ride actually stops itself. So. This actually makes you wonder how often rides actually stop by themselves compared to the cast members doing it. After a quick walk down what's usually a dark tunnel and carefully crossing the coaster track, the passengers are waiting for you guys at the exit up ahead. Thank you very much. Bobby, Bishop is ready, folks. Hope you enjoyed your hike. And what a hike that was. Sign me up. Number 4. Over on Monsters Inc., Mike and Sully to the rescue. Kori Umamoto on Instagram was stopped in the restroom scene when all of a sudden Work lights to be turned on, show to be in, or muted, show to, and show to be disabled. <laughs> now, fun fact, did you know that this is the only Disney ride with a scene that takes place in a bathroom? I mean, leave it to the monsters to have that covered. Now, here in this other submission from d.music.art on Instagram, they also broke down in the exact same spot. I've never been walked out of anything. In this case, their in-show exit had them walk the opposite way back to the load area where they got a lights-on look at the ride. Now, it's a commonly known secret that a lot of the CDA agents in the ride are actually recycled figures from Superstar Limo. So this CDA agent straight ahead is actually a recycled Drew Carey. This is cool. <laughs> it's my second in show exit. It's our first so California adventure adventure. This is what I call an adventure of a lifetime. Number 3. This next breakdown on Pirates of the Caribbean at Magic Kingdom was sent in by a viewer named Kean Hogan. <laughs> Attention, Pirates, lights going on, show audio going off. This lights on reveal of Pirates of the Caribbean never gets old. I just love looking at all the detail. But with the work lights on, you know what that means. And show it. Mm hmm, that's right. <laughs> It's like dead silent. <laughs> I mean, those animatronics are pretty loud. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we are experiencing technical difficulties. Please remain seated and keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. A cast member will be with you shortly. Please be aware your boat may float backwards. Now, the boats floating backwards is a totally normal occurrence since they need to get the boats beside certain evacuation platforms throughout the ride. This is the point when cast members begin to show up. And this cast member already has her rubber waders on. I can't get on the water unless my friend comes back. Just give me a second. Okay. We'll get you. Don't worry. A pirate's breakdown usually involves cast members jumping into the water to help push the boats to the dock. Hey! Okay! Hey! Stop it! You're so fucked! I'll come back for you, okay? If not, you're just gonna go to the back. Now that first cast member began helping those boats in the front, but Kian's boat kept moving on backwards until another cast member made his way through the water to rescue their boat. This has got to be quite the workout. You really got to appreciate all the hard work these amazing cast members do to help ensure all the guests are safe. So a big thank you to every single cast member. They are the heart and soul of these theme parks. <laughs> Now, one thing I'm really surprised about is that all the animatronics are still in full show mode. Normally, they get turned off in situations like this, so this is interesting to see. Now, it's quite a long process getting all the guests cleared out of the ride, but it wasn't too long before Kian's boat was pushed to the platform. Right, let's get you out of here. Here, they were all able to exit the boat and proceed with the in-show exit back into the park. But how cool is this? Definitely something you don't see every day. Number 2. The Big Drop on Splash Mountain is a highlight of the ride. Here at Magic Kingdom, you don't usually get too wet, but seeing that white water splash down the drop is synonymous with Splash Mountain. Now, have you ever seen the ride without the splash? Well, a viewer named Callie Pirich caught just that. Take a look.
For whatever reason, the water flowing down the drop was turned off, which is a super rare occurrence. But as you can see, the ride operates perfectly normal. There's still that big splash at the bottom, and the water on the drop is just for aesthetic purposes only. It serves no practical purpose. The log actually just rolls down the flume on the wheels located on the sides and bottom of the log. But I gotta say, it's really strange not seeing water on the big drop. There's just something kind of uneasy about it, isn't there? And you know what else gives you a bit of an uneasy feeling? This submission from Kevon.g on Instagram. I don't know, there's just something about this that sounds like the scene of a thriller movie. And then they switch keys. It just sounds like something not good is gonna happen. Number 1. The newest ride at Walt Disney World is Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind at Epcot. It opened earlier this year, and it's one ride that's yet to be featured in a breakdown. Well, that's until right now. In a submission from Paige at too cute to eat underscore cookies on Instagram, she found herself stopped near the end of the ride. Please remain seated. We will resume motion momentarily. Good to eat back onto this. Way more comfortable than the people. Oh, yes. Then the moment of truth. Oh my gosh. How cool is this? Whoa. Even though they're at the end of the ride, you can still see how massive this show building really is. For those of you seated in the ride vehicles, please remain seated as we will resume motion as soon as possible. We do apologize again for the delay and appreciate your patience and cooperation. Thank you. Then some time passed and... Powering down immediately. <gasps> powering down? We're powering down? Seems like there's some technical issues to handle. Oh, Paige and her mom were really soaking in the experience when all of a sudden... At this time, we will be escorting you from your star jumper to the exit of our attraction. Please remain seated. An operator will be with you shortly to guide you out of the pavilion. Now that is the look of pure excitement from a Disney fan. Once it was confirmed that an in-show exit was taking place, it wasn't too long before cast members made it onto the scene. Those are Zandar. Oh. Is it Star Wars? We're the Epcotians. Epcotters, citizens of Epcot. Epcotters, Epcotians, citizens of Epcot. Good one, Dad. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Since Paige and her family were already so close to the end of the ride, they were led through the tunnel straight ahead for their in show exit. <laughs> I mean, talk about an enthusiastic bunch. They were then led backstage, then back into the park, where they were given a lightning lane to come back at a later time. So have you ever broke down or experienced a malfunction on a ride or attraction at the Disney theme parks? What was that experience like? I'd love to know. Leave a comment down below to start a conversation, and don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed the video.